Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of The Witcher 3. We're gonna go talk to Yennefer, because that's where it's telling us to go. Even though there's a quest right outside the gate that we're supposed to do, but I can't seem to find Eskel. I wish the map was just a tiny bit bigger. So I can see where the hell I was going. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna help Yennefer with the megascope. God damn it, you mm. piece of shit! Uh oh. Decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Already helped, Lambert. I'll go see what Eskel's up to. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. You have a new quest item. Yay! down to the bottom <laughs> okay and then now we have to go into the inventory go to 
quest items? Oh, it's already equipped. Thanks for okay. telling me. There we go. Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing fail. stronger. Can't be far now. So, Jennifer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Shh. Yes? What is it, Wolf? See you later, Vesemir. Can't be far now. in this room. Do you? Yes. I don't know. There man. you are. Found it. It's these boxes. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Now we gotta go back up the staircase and let Yennefer know that we got rid of the disturbance. Riveting stuff. And now the next time I get into battle, I'm gonna whip out a fucking thing that does nothing. That's right, bud. Instead of my crossbow. Although the last time I tried to use my crossbow, it didn't work, so whatever. It works just as well. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? No, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Catmill Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Catmill and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gledev don eptenid bondro isme iacus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation Combined with Elder's Triangle. Inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Va fail. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me 
guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request. Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. Okay. <laughs> all in all, all right, interesting yeah. conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. <sighs> oh, enough. Finish whatever it was you and the boys were planning to do. Then we'll begin. 600 experience points? Yeah! Yeah, now we're talking. We got one more thing to do now. All right. All right. Oops, oops, oops. Pressing the wrong buttons. Guys, next time on The Witcher 3, we're gonna go downstairs, through the hall, outside, <laughs> and we're gonna fight some Forktails. That sounds great. All right, we will see you guys next time.